Okay, so today's staff. Today's staff is Daf Chof Ches in the Dorm. As we continue to learn for four Shlomo for Chayyim Rachel Bas, Carolyn Yom Tov Lipman Ben Dvar Feyachayim. Well, yesterday we learned the mission. We'll quickly review it. This is the last of the um, the Dorm that are not really Chal at all because this is considered a matter of ones, not an ones where you couldn't fulfill. The condition, but rather a notice so you made it under duress. Then the Lord the person is coming to kill you, so you make a netter, and uh, you say he he's coming to kill you, and you you know he wants to take uh, if you don't give him all your produce, your grain, whatever. So uh, he's going to kill you. So you say, oh, it all belongs to Truma. It's all Truma, or it belongs to the king, or the Haramim. The Haramim is uh, not even murderers. These are just uh, Ganavim. Uh, they're going to steal, they're going to destroy everything on the Muhsin, tax collectors, uh, the or customs, you should call it customs collectors. Uh, you can lie to them also. That's uh, basically, you can make an editor and say that it's a truma, it belongs to the king. Even though it's not truma, even though it's not Beisamelech. Now we had a machlokis in the Mishnah. You can't make a shvu about this, only an editor. Shvu is more chamer uh, because it says there, lo yinake, like we had before, that. Uh, Ten blot ago, that on uh, by by Shvuah says, "Lo yinaka, God won't find you innocent." So it's more chumras by Shvuah. So by Shami says, "You can make a netter about this. We can't make sure what's the source. What kind of a netter is it? What, you're not really making the produce truma, or you're not making it. Uh, they're saying that it belongs to the king. So what does that mean? How do you make the netter? The Gemara will explain this. By Shvuah says, "You can make a Shvuah. You can make a Shvuah. Not only a netter, you can make a Shvuah." Shami am lo yiftach lo netter. You shouldn't offer to make a netter. You shouldn't make an error. The guy comes to uh, steal your stuff, uh, either a threatening death or even that he wants to steal it, or just a tax collector. Even it's uh, uh, like the like the uh, Pirish Rash says, it's not even it's even uh, um, it's uh, like lozu afsu. Not only uh, not only uh, when a guy's coming to murder you or destroy your crops, but even if he's just coming to collect taxes, you can lie to him as well, and you can make this sort of an error. We'll see how the netter works. Shami says, but you shouldn't open up with an editor. If he forces you to make an editor, then okay, you can make an editor, but you shouldn't offer it in your own. So this is after you have you could even start with it, meaning you could open up, you can offer to make an editor. But Shami Omrim, but Meshu Madira, but Meshu Madira, only in what the, the, the uh, enforcer, the villain, only in what he makes you swear are you allowed to swear. They say, this is not off my shame. But even if you could offer, you can embellish it, even. You can swear more than he's offering. So we have here several machlokas in the Mishnah between Beisham and Sil. Number one, Beisham says only a netter, not a shvua. Beisil says even a shvua. Beisham says you can't offer it yourself unless he makes you. He says, listen, swear to me or I'll kill you. They're signing, signing like an income tax form. I mean, signing a name. Yeah. Is that a shvua? What is that? Uh, that's, that's not quite a shvua, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a, it's a statement. Uh, it's a statement, and you're not allowed to lie about that. We're going to talk about that in a minute. We'll come to that. We'll come back to it. But it's not a netter per se. The netter is only in the form of a netter. The Gemara is going to ask, well, what kind of a netter is this? He, he, I swear that it's truma. That's not a netter. That's a shvua, maybe, right? But it's not a netter, and it's a lie also. But okay, you're allowed to because this is a, a, under duress. So the third machlokis, besides machlokis, whether you can make a shvua or only a netter or a shvua, that's Beshama says. Only an editor, Basil says a shvua. Beishamai says you shouldn't offer an editor unless he makes you. Basil says you could even offer one. Beishamai says even when he offers, even when he makes, you could only limit it to exactly the words that he asks you to make. You can't embellish it with any more. Okay, so what's the example? Omelo, Amor, he tells him, Amor Konamishti, Natasli. The villain tells you, listen, uh, you claim that this stuff um, is uh, usher to you. Uh, is, is is forbidden that it's truma or that belongs to the king or whatever. Uh, make a shvu or make a netter that your wife can't have any enough from me if this is not true. He has not only his wife, but he has a son soon. They can't have enough from me if this isn't, if what I'm telling you is not true. His sons weren't entirely, you didn't make the netter of the sons under duress, and you made such a netter that your sons can't have enough from you. So that that netter is chal. You have to get a tar sadar. Beisel omer elu bel mitan. They're both mutter, meaning you can embellish it more. So beisel is makel in three aspects. Number one, you can make a shvur. Number two, you can offer to make the shvur, make the netter. And number three, you can embellish it with more than the villain is asking you to do. 
So the first question is related to the, when you sign the uh, the uh, your your 1040. Um uh, Shmuel Gemara asks, what do you mean? How can you um, how can you get out of the tax collector, the customs collector? Bamr Shmuel Shmuel says, Dina Machus Adina. The law of the land is the law of the land. If he's collecting taxes, you got to pay it. What do you mean? You're, you're trying to make a netter to get out of it? You're, you're lying about that. Saying, What's the form of the netter? You say, we hinted it already because he said, uh, you know, my wife shouldn't have had enough of me if this isn't true. If this isn't true, okay, but you're really saying that, uh, that you're saying a lie here and you owe the money. How can you cheat? The law of the land is the law of the land. Two answers. Number one, He's not really following the land. Yes, he is a accredited tax collector, customs collector, but it's not a fixed fee. Normally with customs, you know, this is 2%, this is 5%, this is 10% of the value, et cetera. There's a certain schedule for what you're supposed to pay. But over here, he's not collecting taxes in the normal way. He's got no limit. And kids, but there's no set amount. In a case like that, he is like a chamsen, says Rashi. Kivan shekain lav dinu. That's not a din. If the, if the government says you got to pay the X amount of taxes, 25% or whatever, so you got to pay that. That's the uh, That's the law. But this guy has no limit. He can ask whatever he's wanting to. You know, he just looks at you and decide what he wants to take. That's a case where you're entitled to, that's considered under to rest because he's not really going by the law. He's not following the, the booklet. He's not following the tax guide. Then you're allowed to. No, he's not even accredited. He just got up on his own. And and what they what they used to do is they they the the tax collectors who were credited they used to purchase the concession <laughs> you understand because you, you 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 know you may set up a border somewhere and uh, you get you know you pay the government off to get the concession to collect the taxes that's how things were in those days right so uh, so I heard this sentence where these tax collectors come into the, to a, the stores they right you say we think you owe so much right right right. So, so here we'll get into the here you're talking about here in Israel. Yeah. They're not crooks. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's so so that, that you could debate that whole issue. Uh, you know, that's that's like they're acting as the judge and the jury and the, and they're acting like the uh, uh, the tax court, you know, effectively. And you can argue that, by the way, you can appeal that in a court in a tax court. You know, that's a whole that's a whole other discussion. But here we're discussing the issue, does Dina and Machus and Dina apply? So Rav Kana, Rav Kana says, no, it doesn't apply because even though he's a, a legitimate tax collector, he's got a badge, he's got a sticker and all that, but uh, he, he has no, he's not following any set of rules. In a case like that, that's considered you're under duress because uh, he's like a crook, okay? The second answer is, no, he's not even an accredited person. He just got up on his own. He's got a gun and a badge and uh, he set himself up there and he's not, that's not the law of the land. Dina Machos means the law of the land. It's a protection Here, racket. Yeah, like a protection racket. Now, the Ron points out, if you look at the Ron on the left side here, even with the Mishnah, Okay, so he wasn't uh, he wasn't a credit at all. But Kosovo tells us, says the Ron, Kosovo tells us, famous line, that Dina Machus Dina applies only um, meaning by the Goyim. Okay, so it applies, let's say, in Chutzlar. It doesn't apply in Israel. There's the Hetzer. There's your Hetzer. Hetzer. Even here, it's not even clear if this would apply in a democracy because we're talking about Obzi Gechavim and the land belongs to him. So if you he could tell you, if you don't listen to my command, I got just coming us to get out of here. He can kick you out. Well, they can't really kick you out in a democratic land. So I don't know if the whole thing applies. Avamachi Yisrael, but in, in a Jewish king, lo, Lefish Eretz Yisrael, Kol Yisrael should talk about. We're all have a share in Eretz Yisrael. If the he bought it, meaning he bought the concession, that's the law of Dinamachus. He's appointed to collect it. Then a Yisrael, a Yisrael, you can't lie to a Jewish. That's what we're saying. Shain Yisrael, meaning. It's a Goyish land, right? It's a Goyish land. That's where Dina Machos applies. And uh, you're not allowed to lie to a, another Jew. Shein Roshoi Yisrael Chaveiro Lishba Shein Truma. Delaka Onsa 
Kivan the dinner machlus dinner. That's not considered duress. You have to follow the law. So if it would, if there would be a set schedule, and you're living in a Gaisha land, dina machus applies. Let's say you have to pay ten percent for all the goods or taxes, whatever it was. We differentiate between customs on the border or income tax or whatever whatever tax you want to call it, purchase tax, all the kinds of taxes that there are. If the guy is a legitimate tax collector for the Gaisha government because he bought the concession or he was appointed, then you can argue with him. This is not considered duress. And Amish is considered duress because he's not legitimate. Either he's not following a tax schedule or he just set up on his own. Therefore, you're allowed to lie to him and say that this is true more, this belongs to the king, when indeed it's not. So the Gemara goes on, the Mishnah said, Shane, there's some basic. Pardon? But in Eretz Yisrael, it doesn't apply. In Eretz Yisrael, it doesn't apply. It doesn't apply. There's another question about lying and cheating, et cetera, et cetera. The rule, sure. the rule, the rule of Dina Machus and Dina doesn't apply in Eretz Yisrael. So the horror part is part of Eretz Yisrael. Now I understand it. <laughs> now I get it. It could also be, here he says it applies by the Goyim, the Malchai of the Gechavim, because they could tell you, Ron says, because it belongs to him, and he could tell you, you either follow my rules or uh, or get out. So would that apply in democracies? I think most rabbis tell you that it does apply in general, but in Eretz Yisrael, the Ron clearly says that it doesn't apply. What does so, it mean that it doesn't apply? Meaning that um, there are other rules of cheating and lying and stealing and things like that. But the rule of Dina Machus Dina, the reason that you, the question of the Gemara was, how can you lie about the truma to the muchas, right? To the muchas, to the tax collector, when dina machus you don't know how to get out of that. There's no heter for lying. We're saying over here, the net that you make is meaningless because it was under duress. What do you mean under duress? You're supposed to pay it. That's not duress. That's like saying, if I if I or don't pay my, I don't have to buy my taxes because they're they're demanding it. <laughs> it's under duress. What do you mean? You're supposed to pay. You're supposed to pay. So the question of dina machus applies. The, the question you asked before about signing on a lie, that's a lie. If you if you lie about your taxes, when you sign on it, you know, you could, uh, you're better off saying, listen, I'm not paying anything. You come into, you tell me what I owe you. You know, that's like, like why, why would the mukhas of the guy who cares if something's true money? No, we're, we're not, we're, we're talking about the mukhas himself is a Jew. The mukhas is, is a Jew. The tax collector is a Jew. It's in, another question about lying to the, in it's, it's not, yeah, it's not, it's not like today where you, when you sign something, you're signing to the government. In other words, you're making a same thing. Here you're talking about a, 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 an individual act. The tax collector doesn't necessarily go back and report it, you know, and file it in your no, file I, in the computer. I, 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 Here we're talking about it's between you and the tax collector. If the tax collector was a guy, maybe this wouldn't apply. Because the, the example that the Ron says is that we're talking about a case where the tax collector was appointed or by the government or he bought the concession. So he's got a legitimate right to collect it. And the question is, and he's a Jew. And if he's if he's going by the law and he's collecting, let's say 10%, you have to pay 10% taxes, 10% of what of his assets, of the income, whatever the whatever the tax was, if he's if it's legitimate, you're not allowed to lie to him. And therefore, this wouldn't be a net, or this wouldn't be considered a net or under duress, and the netter would be how. What we're saying, what we're gonna have today is that we're gonna see later on that today the issue is that in general we have a cloud of Dorm Shabalay Bennett Barn. If I tell you <clears throat> something. Um, and I meant something else, what I meant doesn't count. We go by what you said. Varm Shabalay Vanad Varm, oh, you, that was what you meant? We don't count that. That's the general idea. However, in the case of a netter under duress, or like these other Nadarm that we talked about, netter Ziruzin, uh, you didn't really mean it. That These are exceptions to the rule. In these cases, we say, Dvarm Shabalay Havid Varm. When I said, uh, I didn't really mean it, it wasn't really true. It really didn't belong to the king. It really didn't mean that. That's Dvarm Shabalay. That's not what I said. That's what we call you're supposed to be honest. What you say is what you say with your mouth is what you're supposed to feel in your heart. When you tell somebody have a good day, you're supposed to mean it. You're not supposed to say, you know, when you when you were thinking, I hope he crashes the car. And when you say have a good day, that's that's a lie. You're not supposed to do that. Have a good day. That, why, why? That's, have a good day. <laughs> yeah. Have a good day. You know, so that's that's what you mean. When you say have a good day, you're supposed to mean it. You're supposed to mean it. So Dvarim Shibalev and Dvarim, when it comes to a, a, a deal or a, an agreement, you can't say I meant something else. What was in your mind doesn't mean, except these cases under duress or these, these are exceptions to the rule. So 
we're well, saying, is, so how does it apply here in the case of the muchas, in the case of the tax collector? <laughs> what we're saying is if he's a legitimate tax collector, you can't say that it's true. And you say that it's, you're, you're saying that the, What's the nature of the netter? We'll see what the netter is in a minute, but you're forbidding something on yourself if this isn't truma. That's the nature of the netter, right? You're not a netter, uh, you don't make a netter that this is truma. You can make a shvur right. that way, that would be a shvur shav, but, but <laughs> you know what I mean? This is also the uh, eczema, this meat is also to me if this isn't truma. Well, if if dvarm shabalev ain't a dvarm, because you don't really mean it to be truma and it's not really truma, then these, the netter should be chal. That if you're a dvarm shabalev, except it's the rest. So we're saying, it's only duress if it's one of these cases where uh, the guy's a murderer or he's a crook or he's a crooked tax collector because he's not he's not collecting according to the tax schedule or he set up upon he set himself up. But if he would be legitimate, then then the netter would be a good netter because it's because varm should believe in it's varm. All I was suggesting yeah. is that using the example of oh this is truma yeah. suggests. That the tax collector is a, is a Jew. Exactly what the law says. Correct. 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 All, right. Um, all right. So the, the mission went on to so say, You're allowed to say it belongs to the king, even though it doesn't work. In. Where's the netter over here? In other words, you're saying, Oh, you know, the guy comes in and says, Oh, this this is belongs to the king. This belongs to Truma. Where's the netter? Where's the netter? We don't see netter. Amrav, Amrav, Bohomi, yes, you pay us all in Ana and Shel Beisamelech. All the fruits of the whole world should be also for me if they don't belong to the king. That was the netter that you made. Can't eat fruits. Says the Gemara, nobody asked him to swear that much. <laughs> Why did you ask all the parents? Yeah. Uh, so, no. He's, he he's, he's, no, 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 no. He's, what he's trying to accomplish is to. It's not a netter. No, 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 no. What he's trying to accomplish is to get rid of the murderer. Right. Get, get rid of the guy. And he, should, and he doesn't want it to be a netter. But, uh, uh, he doesn't want it to be a netter. But in this case, where he said, where did he go? How did he, he went so he went too far. Why did he say all the papers of the world should be ushered to me? I mean, who asked him to go that far? That the, He wasn't under duress to make that much of a netter. So, uh, Kivan, the Omer, yes, uh, yes, uh, it's really called papers. So, all the papers of the world are also if he made such a netter. No, the Omer Hayom. He only made the netter for one day. And it was one day he could live with. You understand? One day he could live with. So, that, the question was, it's uh, uh, He didn't say something which wasn't true. He says, all the payers of the world should be also to me, period. He says, all the payers should be also to the world if this isn't, uh, if this isn't uh, Truma. So the Gemara says, that was the trick. In other words, Keeping the Amr Asr, it's a call payer almost, so everything should really be Asr if he did it. No, we only had it for one day. So, eat Amr Yom, Lokum, come in, Mokhas. So, the Mokhas will say, Yeah, so I'll, I'll come back tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. No, not only that, not only that, he won't even accept. He's not saying that the tr- that it's Truma today only. Right. He's saying, All the payers, if this isn't Truma, all the payers should, should be asking me for one day. So, one day, what's the, that's not a netter. That's not really a netter. One day you can, you can, so you won't have fruits today. They won't accept that. It says, hmm. He said it in his heart. He told the guy, all the pairs of which should be answered to me if I'm not, if, 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 if this isn't Truma or if this doesn't belong to the king or whatever, whatever he said. But what he said was, the Africa of the sphere, and even though we hold Barm Shibalet, ain't it Barm, like I mentioned before, that what you say in your heart doesn't mean anything. You said in your heart one day, men stop. Like I'll be on and shining when a person is forced, he's under duress, something beyond his control. Then we do say, and he only meant to say for one day. So what we're saying is, is that he made a netter like this and he made a netter really, what's the netter? We're saying that these net, these netter don't need any heter, right? But if it, the Gemara's cash was, if he made a netter, uh, Period. He says, all the pairs of the world should be asked to me if this isn't Truma or if this isn't Mark. Well, it doesn't belong to the king. So maybe the netter should be how. That's what Ligmar is asking. Why do you have to go so far? The answer is the only, he made a netter that could, that could work for one day, but he kept that in his mind. That's why, that's the only thing in, in, in the sense that the, the Kiddush over here was that technically the netter is how. The netter is how for one day or for one hour, whatever he said, something like that. But he said that in his mind. So the netter is how. He wasn't lying. You don't need that Taurus to Dharam over here, right? It's not like that. But it's not, it's not like the Neder Zerusim, which wasn't even Chal, or the Neder Habai, you know, where he said uh, uh, there's a flying dragon over there, or some, some, something that uh, 
some exaggeration, which clearly wasn't an error. Here, it's, uh, he made an error. He made an error, um, but, um, uh, right, but he made an error, but uh, it, it, it was in, in a way that it wouldn't really hurt him. And it would convince the, the villain because the villain thought that he was making it in general, like and all the payers of which must be forever, you know, forever, if this isn't true. So that would convince the guy, but in his mind, he only meant it for one day or one hour. And the only consequence then is whether he has to be not their measure. That's right. So here, he, right, right. In other words, the question was, if he makes a netter, well, where's the netter over here? If he just says, this isn't, this is Truma, or this is belongs to the king, where's the netter? The netter is that all the payers of the world should be also to me if they don't belong to the king. So the Gemara says, Kivan Dharma Yesru, uh, Israelite called Periyama, so they talk our Osir. So that, that was his question. There was a Ida Marayo, Ida Bem Yamas Rayam, Dahino Arama, Dahino Yoma Lachoy, that's enough shape. But the Kivan Dharma Yesru, Lomer Milsa Dharama, Israelite, he didn't say anything that wasn't true, right? If it's, a, you know, it should be also me if it's not true. So where is the, where is the, where is the trick? What is he trying to lie over here? He says they're all lost, sir. So they're all lost, sir. In other words, it's not just that they're all lost, sir. He says, what do, what do you, you like? Where's his lie? Where's his, uh, you know, where's the lie? You know, in, in the case where uh, the Zeruzin, you could say, he didn't really mean, you know, that if you don't come to my house, you can't have an offer me anymore. Or he didn't really mean there were 8 million uh, people uh, walking I saw on the street. He didn't really mean that. But here, what's wrong? What, where's the haram over here? This is, is what the kasha is. Um, so, um, yeah, there's a special mission. There's a question like the Ron says, the Kumar Dharm Shay Truma, the Echa Shaf Nidder by Lush, and the Kumar either Omer Yesu Payo Sal Malaiwa Olam, Ain Bram Shibalev Mavatlan, Masha Otsi Befev. If he really said that, I feel Gabayosa, Kihai. In other words, if he really said all the world's virtue us and me, why did he have to, why, where's the onus in that? He's not forced into that. So would, why is Bram Shibalev Matla, Kihai? El Dolph Astama Kumar Yesu Payo Sal Olam, and he didn't say, he, he said it's Tom as if it means loan, but he meant for one day, and that's the haroma that he did here. So the, the Gemara wanted to say that the Beshamiyam, so the, this is like a long piece from the Mishnah. Beshamiyam, uh, Beshamiyam says, Bakol, right? A cult, you can make any kind of an adder, but not a shvur. Beshamiyam, Masha Madiro, Beshamiyam, Masha Shana Madiro. Beshamiyam says, only what, only what the guy's forcing you to make, not what you do on your own. And then it says, Ketzad, Beshamiyam, Masha Shana, Ketzad, he says, Amr lo kanam ishti nanis, leave Amr kanam ishti bai. He had, he embellished it more. He said, even now, you know, my kids and my wife and my kids can't have enough of me if this isn't the case, if this doesn't belong to the king or it's not to Misham Yomim. Ishtim Materos Avonim Basurim, because he didn't have to make a netter about the, about the sons. That wasn't, he wasn't forced into that netter. So, so sons talk or also, because he said, my, they can't have enough for me if this isn't true or if this doesn't belong to the king. Well, it doesn't belong to the king. So the sons are also. They saw him, Elav El Matar. All right, so, so we saw three machlokes in the mission, but the more is going to bring now a Bryce, Amar Afuna. Tana Beshami learned Bryce, Beshami Mufta Beshwa. Beshami says you shouldn't start with the Shwa. Now notice we don't have those words in the Mishnah. The Bryce says, Beshami says, like, you shouldn't start, you shouldn't open with the Shwa, meaning you shouldn't open with the Shwa on your own if you're not forced into it. So the Beshami, I don't say Beshram Bishwa if you shouldn't open the Shwa, Hobanet Yiftah, but you could have, but Tana the Mishnah says Beshami Loyiftah. Beshami says you shouldn't offer a netter at all. Right? It's much from the Brisa, you, you shouldn't open up with the Shvua. You shouldn't offer a Shvua, let's say. Bishami says you shouldn't offer a Shvua. They still says you can offer a Shvua. So Bishami says you shouldn't offer a Shvua, but you could offer a netter. But the Mishnah says, the Mishnah says, Batam Bishami lo yiftach, you shouldn't offer a netter. The Su in a second Kasha, Miftach who left the you shouldn't open with a Shvua. Hamader, another Bishvua, but you could make a Shvua. You shouldn't offer a Shvua, but if you're forced to make a Shvua, you could. But the mission says, "Batam Beisham Yomim Bechol Nodin Chutz Mishvur." Beishamai says in our Mishnah that you can make a netter, but you can't make a shvur. And and the Beishamai says, "Well, you shouldn't open with a netter. Lo yiftach lo benetter. You shouldn't offer a netter." But from the Brisas Mashba, Beishamai saying you shouldn't offer a shvur. Mashba, you could offer a netter. So we have difficulty between the Brisas Mishnah. So no, Tanam Asnis in the netter lo diach to Beishamai. The Mishnah taught us that. Beishamai says you shouldn't offer a neder. You shouldn't offer, truth is, you shouldn't offer shvua for sure, but you shouldn't even offer a neder to tell you the chiddush of Beishamai that even when it comes to a neder, you can make a neder, but you can't offer a neder. Tana Brisa, the Brisa is teaching Beshvua, the Brisa is talking about shvua to teach me that you can even offer a shvua. 
because the Brisa says Beisham is leaf from Shmuel, Beisil says Afia from Shmuel. Meaning, Beisham. The truth is, Beisham says you can only make an Ed. You can't make a Shmuel. Even if under duress, you can't make a Shmuel because a Shmuel is more Chomer, right? But but the Mishnah says you shouldn't you shouldn't make a netter, uh, you shouldn't offer a netter. Should, certainly you can't offer a shvua, but you shouldn't even offer a netter. Even though the Brisa says, Beishamai says you shouldn't offer a shvua, it doesn't mean to say you could offer a netter. The Mishnah is telling you the Chiddush Beishamai that you can't even offer a netter. Even though you can make a netter, you can't, you can't offer a netter. Whereas the Brisa is telling you Chiddush that Beishamai says not only can you make a shvua, but you can even offer a shvua. So it's Menachot Solakotza. Beishamai says you can only make a netter, you can't even offer a netter. Basil says you can even make a shvua and you can even offer a shvua as we see in the Brisa. Tana Brisa Bishwal, let me just finish the line. Tana Brisa Bishwal, the Echkir Basil, the Echkir Basil. So Basil is matter even offering a shvua and Basil says you can't even make a shvua. Not only can't you offer a shvua, you can't even offer a netter. Basil says you can't even offer a netter. You can only make a netter, but you can't offer a netter. Basil says you not only can you make a netter, and not only can you make a shvur, you can even offer a shvur. Beishama says you can't even make a shvur. You can only make an edder, but you can't even offer an edder. Beishol says you could make an edder, you can even make a shvur, and you can even offer a shvur. So according to Beishama, you can't do anything? Except make an edder. If you're under, if you're forced to make an edder, you can make, make an edder. If the, if the villain says, make an edder or we're going to kill you, <laughs> uh, make an edder that you're saying this belongs to the truma, belongs to the king, make an edder that it belongs to the king. But he says make a shvur. If he says make sure you can, you can't. You can't. You can't. If you would, if you would make a shvua, the, the shvua you'd have to get a tar sedar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, except like, that's the first answer. That's so far right. You can't make a shvua. The shvua will be chal. But if it comes to shvua, shvua is more chamer. So you can't say it was made under the rest and etc. Et now, Ravashi says a different answer. Ravashi says the Bryce is not talking about our mission at all. Our mission is talking about the case where a villain forces you under. Under threat of death or under threat of destruction or under threat of stealing your money, he's forcing you and so and so. We see the machlot of Shammai Silo. The Bryce does not even talk about that. When the Bryce says, Rafun is started by saying, Tana Beshamim lo Yiftach lo Beshur, Beshur says, Yiftach Beshur, we're not even talking about Yiftach is not talking about offering to make a netter or a shur to the villain. Yiftach is talking about Atar Sadarim. When you come to the rabbi, when you come to the rabbi to make a tar sadar, right? You make an edder of edder shvur. You come to the shem. Rabashi says, "Hachik time." Beishami says, "Ain shei lebeshvur." You could only be matzur netter on a netter, not on a shvur. That Beishami says that's what he means. He says, "Lo yiftach lebeshvur." If it's a shvur, you can't even offer. You can't even do a tar sadar there. Well, Beisola, I'm yei shei lebeshvur. No, just like you can do a tar sadar on a netter, you can do a tar sadar on a shvur. Which is so Rabashi says, "It's bechal not a kash." Can't kash from my Bryce and the mission. The Bryce is not talking about. Beishamai offering a shvua versus Beisil says you could offer a shvua and Beishamai says you can't offer a shvua. Mashma, you could offer a netter and the mission says otherwise. No, the mission is talking about the villain, the case of the villain. The price is a different case entirely. Can you do a tars dharm on, on a shvua? According to we do, we do. We say shvua, harame, all those things, right? We, we go like Beisil, you could. Beishamai says you can't even do a tars dharm on a shvua, only on a netter. So all this was talking about where we're saying the netter is not chal, meaning the netter is chal in a way, it, it, it's, it's a little bit different than the netter not being chal. Remember, netter is a zruzin or netter of iron, netter shkaga, you made a mistake, you forgot. That's not a netter at all, because you forgot. You didn't want to include, you, you didn't know your father, you forbade everybody to eating the figs, and you didn't know your father or your family was there. So that was a mistake, and then the never was never really chal here. Here we're saying the netter is chal, but we're, we're looking what was in your mind. I, 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 all the payers of the world should be also to me if this isn't Truma. So why isn't that a netter? It is a netter. Yeah, but in my mind, I was saying only for one day, only my, for one day. So it was only Chal for one day. That's, that's the difference between this, this case. Now we're going to come to cases where the netter is Chal. Why? Because even though you really meant, maybe you meant something else, that's not, these are not made under duress. What happened here? These saplings, are, are, car, are carbon. Now he doesn't say how many tears are a lie carbon. He's not forbidding themselves, but this is not a netter. Here he's actually making something hegdish. How rain tears like a carbon. Can you bring saplings for a carbon? Well, there's two kinds of carbon. There's a kedushas a goof, like an animal that you bring as a carbon, a shore or a kess of ways. And then there's kedushas domen, where you're giving it to Bedeka bias. You want to give it for construction of the base of mikdash, stones, you can give. Trees, uh, stones, money, can't, anything you can give, silver, gold, whatever, or you're giving it 
for Kedushas Adam that it that it should be sold, it should be put and use the money for a carbon. Either way, you're saying Harena Tiyos Elkom. I say these saplings will be hegdish and ain't an excessive if they're not cut down. Now, what do we mean by that? If it's not cut, if they're not cut down, they're considered kados. So Gemara is going to talk about what's the case here. Talus zu carbon. I'm giving this talus as a carbon, meaning I make it a hegdish. And ain't in a surface if it doesn't get burned up. Yesh la pidyom. You can be po to them. What does that mean? It's kedusha stomach. You could be po to either. If you see, if you make a carbon, mm -hmm. if you make an animal, a shor keserves, you're makdish to bring your carbon. Whatever the carbon was, a chathos, ol, a shlom, whatever you were going to bring, can you be po to? You change your mind and say, listen, no, I, I want that animal back. I want to get another one in its place. Only if it has a mum can you do it. If it has a mum, right? We say, you know, you remember you, you start, you know, you, 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 you start, you let it get a mum, and then you can be po to. If, you, if it doesn't have a mum, you can't be po to. Do shastam, you could be po to. I gave some silver or gold or wood or stones to the base of Megdush, and I could be poted, or anybody could be poted. If I'm poted, I got to add 25%, but whatever. I, you could be poted and poted. So you either give it for construction, better bias, or you give it for a carbon, but I don't have an animal. I don't have a shore or kiss of ways. So I give some uh, some money or some assets, whatever, and you pote it later on and buy an anim animals with it. The base of Megdush, the gizma there has some animals I could buy it with that. So Yeshla and Pidyam. Really, the Lushan could say, this is Kadosh. You could just say, Harezu Kadosh is Daman. Why did it say Yeshla and Pidyon? I think Mara will ask that. Why did it say Yeshla and right? Why do we care if it's burned? Oh, oh, oh. What's the burning part? What do you need that for, right? Just say, I'm not just this stuff. So we'll see the case. Mara will explain the case. Uh, so that's the first part. Harezu Kadosh is Daman. In Ain't if they're not cut down, these saplings are not cut down. Or Talzu Kadosh in this Nisrefes, if it's not burned up. Yeshla Pidyan, it's Kadosh. Okay, Yeshla Pidyan, it's not burned up. So, what's the Kiddush in that? What's the case here? And the second part of the Mishnah. I want them to be holy, again, through system, until it's cut down. Until it's cut. And then it's not. So, what does that mean? Or Talasu Korban, until it gets burned up, but afterwards not. Ainlam Pidyan. Then it has no Pidyan. What does that mean, Ainlam Pidyan? So, what does that mean? Ainlam Pidyan, the Gemara is going to say, you know, you know. Uh, what does it mean? So the Rashi here points out, Lolam calls my, they, uh, calls, as long as they weren't cut down yet. You're saying that these are cut, these are cutters. And they, what does it really mean? The Gemara is going to explain what it means is that Elam Pidyon, yeah, you could be poted. It's, it's could be stumped, you could be poted. But when you're poted, it's cut us again. Because you say, until they cut cut down, the sapling is, is uh, cut up, or the item, the clothing is not burned yet. So until it's cut down, I want it to be kadosh. That's what he says. Actually, he didn't say if it's not the first part of the mission was, if it doesn't get cut down, if it doesn't get burned up, then I want it to be a carbon. I want it to be a kadushas, it's kadushas stum. And what is this Gemara doing over here? You can talk about kadushas stum. Why? We'll see the case in Gemara. All right, it's a carbon. Actually, meaning until it gets cut down, I want it to be carbon. So it means even if I pod it, even if I'm pod it, it becomes kadosh again. Because I said, actually, so until it's something means I'm pod it, meaning what is I'm pod it? The money that I give becomes kadosh, and then the sapling again becomes kadosh. Because I'm saying effectively, every time I'm poted, I still want to be makdish the sapling again. Because I said I read a tiyosel carbon. I want it to be a carbon. Not he didn't say a lie carbon. If you see a lie carbon, that would be a netter, right? That these things are also to me like a carbon. He didn't say a lie carbon. He said ha'elu carbon. That means he's making them kedusha stamen. Actually, it's a talisman. Actually, it's a sword. Aim, aim, and pigeon. What happens when it's cut down? Oh, oh, what happens when it's cut down? We're going to come to that. When it's cut down, it's not cut us anymore. Okay, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to get to all those questions. It says the Gemara, we're listening to Kedushos. Why they ain't Kedushos? Now, our Gemara reads, we're listening to Kedushos for ain't Kedushos. But the truth is, it should really say, the Rashi and the Ram both point out, it should say Kedushos. Why did it say? Why did it say, what do you mean, ain't a kedushas? Ain't a kedushas doesn't make sense over here. In both the ratio and the seifa, the item is kadosh, right? The saplings are kadosh. They're, there's kedushas thumb here. So the girsa, the preferred girsa on the run is, but listen, ain't kedushas. Why did the first part of the mission say, if I say these are kadosh, these things should be, uh, if, if, they're not, if they're not cut down, um, and the talus, uh, it doesn't get burned up, um, it should say the, they're kadosh. I made them kadosh. Haray and feels elu carbon. Kadosh, what's that? Yesh lapin, you could be told it. Just say it's kadosh. Listen, they kadushos. Why didn't it say that? Ain't a kadushos doesn't really make sense, really. So the Gemara says, no, I didn't want to miss any safe. Since it says this, ain't lapinion. The last words in the mission was ain't lapinion, meaning it's kadosh until it gets cut down or until it gets until the item gets burnt. It's, it's kadosh, meaning even if I'm poted, 
it keeps getting Kaddish again and again and again. You can't be quoted until calls mind that it wasn't been cut down, it's Kaddish. There versus Ainland Pinion. So you wouldn't say Ainland Pinion. So the race Tanami Rashi Yesh Lapinion. So the race also says Yesh Lapinion, even though it could have just said Harezer Kadosh. Okay. But what's the netter over here? What's the case of the netter? Hey, netter. Well, where's the netter? Where's the netter? We're talking about the Dharam over here, right? What is this mission doing? If this mission is just telling me, you know what? Uh, I want to give this cup to the base of Migdash. Okay. So that's Kadosh. What's this doing in the Dharam? Where's the netter over here? Where's my netter? Hey, Hechen, Omar Mehmer, but Omar, so I guess, Main and Excess of Sayom, if the the sapling doesn't get cut down today, but over Ayom, below Niktas, when the day passed and it wasn't, it wasn't cut down. So uh, so it becomes good, so it becomes a carbon. It says, in other words, if it doesn't get cut down today, then I want it to be a carbon. Again, what's the chiddush in that? Mkain Lama Lama member, what's the point of saying that? You know, Shita, you know, obvious. So I say if this thing doesn't cut down today, I want it to be a carbon. What's the chiddush? Let's read it. Kagon do ika. Zika and Afisha, there's a strong wind, there's a hurricane coming. There's a hurricane coming, and you're afraid that it's going to knock down all the trees. So you say, uh, you know, okay, so that's why that's why you said, so you say, oh, if it doesn't get down today, I'm mock the ship. If it doesn't get down today, I'm mock the ship. But well, what about by You know, okay, you're talking about there's a strong wind here. There's a strong wind. You say, okay, I'm afraid the wind's going to knock it down. So I say, you know, if the wind doesn't knock it down, I may, I'd be mocked the ship. But what about by Talos? But Talos is straight for coming. Why is the Talos going to get burned? You say, if the Talos doesn't get burned, I'm actually, what's a, what's a similar case there? Oh, Kagondi could like it. The answer is LMI. There's a fire. There's a fire. And he says, he's afraid that everything's going to burn down. So he says, if my, if my house, my garments don't get burned, don't get burned, I'm mocked the ship. So, there's a strong wind. Just like there, there's a, there's a fire, there's a strong wind. In other words, you're afraid that they're going to be destroyed today. They're afraid that, they're, that the sapling will be cut down or that the towels will be burned up. The I might think. The Masakadaite, the low Miss Natslin, and you might think that he figures, look, they're gone. There's a hurricane coming. Your tree is gone. There's a fire raging through the city. Your clothes are gone. Right, and therefore, some of my they're not going to be saved anyway. And that's why he made the netter, but he didn't really mean it. He didn't really mean it. He said, You know what? If my tree doesn't fall down, I mock the shit. You know, like, God, please help me. If my tree is my, I mock the shit. Or if my towels doesn't get burned up, I mock the shit. So you might think he didn't really mean it. He didn't really mean it. The answer is no. That's what you said, though. You weren't under duress. The guy was, didn't have a gun to your head like the case of the previous Mishnah. Hey, give me the money. Give you know your money or your life. Your money or your life. And he says, oh, the belongs to Truma, belongs to this. I swear, and all that. All those in the Dharam, right? Those were under duress. This isn't duress. Vam Shabalei. Kamash no, we don't say that. And since you made the netter, that's the netter. So therefore, the first part of the mission we understand now. The first part of the mission, he says, listen, there's a hurricane raging. There's a fire raging. So I say, you know what? If my stuff doesn't get destroyed, I'm mocked to shit. So you might think, yeah, he didn't really mean it. Varm shaboy, vanad varm. You're mocked to shit. It is kadosh. And yesh lopinion. Okay, it's it's kadosh is done. Why did he say yesh lopinion? Because the safest is a lopinion. Because what did the safest say? He said a strange thing. He said it's kadosh until such time that it falls down, that the sapling gets detached or the or the item gets burned up. So what's the point in that? So you say, I'm going to feel sort of a carbon, ain't no opinion. What do you mean, ain't no opinion? So Gemara says, well, Olam, that was your great you cast gosh. What do you mean, forever? What do you mean, forever? Uh, uh, forever, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 you can't be potent? What do you mean? It's Kedusha's dumb. Kedusha's dumb, we know you can be potent. Even Kedusha's good, you can be potent if it gets a mum. to my animals, by birds, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're like, we'll, we'll get the question from him again, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Right, so Gemara says, uh, uh, and 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 forever. The Ron even says here, Ula Olam, Pirush B'Tmiya Koma, Hayach Efsh Shalei Elam Pinya. How's that possible? Amar Bar Pada. Interesting. Look, look what Bar Pada says. Look at the next word, Pada. Maybe he got, maybe he was called that because he said that memo, right? But Amar Bar Pada, Chosros V'Kedushos, Pada and Chosros V'Kedushos. Pada Chosros. In other words, we're saying is this. I want, like I said before, I'm saying I want it to be holy until such time as they get cut down. So I want it to be holy. I can be potent, it's just dumb. But you know what? After you're potent and the money takes the place, the money's Kaddish, the item becomes Kaddish again. It comes again, again, again. Because I said, what I effectively said was, I'm, this should be Kaddish's dumb until such time that it gets cut down. So, okay, it's Kaddish's dumb now. The sapling is Kaddish's dumb, belongs to the base of Megdash. Somebody comes along as potent. And and now the money is Kaddish. Well, now the money is Kaddish, and the sapling again becomes Kaddish until such time. Right? 
Nick Tutsu, ah, but what about, have you asked this before, Irving? What about when you cut it down? Because it says, right, what do you mean, ain't no opinion? Ain't no opinion, it's got opinion. Oh, it just means until it gets cut down, it keeps keeps coming Kaddish again. Nick Tutsu, why am I going to cut down? Okay, mm-hmm. once it's cut down, you're put it one time. Why? And that's enough. Why? Because you might say, look at Ula says. Ula says, Amar Kivan Shiniksu Shubain Podan. Once you're cut it down, that's it. Because what did you say? I'm only being I'm only being mocked to shit until such time as it's cut down. Once it's not, once I cut it down, uh, it's not cutish anymore. Okay. So so uh, that's what he says. He goes off. But the 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 Tana of uh, what happens when they cut down or Barpada presumably said there was probably Barpada that says. No, Nixitsu, or the Gemara said it's time. Nixitsu, once it cuts down, so now it doesn't become holy automatically again. You're put at one time, and that's enough meaning, but you have to be put it. How, how, do, how does it lose its Kedusha, right? How does it lose Kedusha? You say it's cut, still gets cut, okay? it gets cut, cuts down now. Now it's still cut, it's done. So now you're put it for money, and now you can take the tree and do whatever you want with it, right? Ula says no, Kivan Shiniksu, Shiva, once you cut it down, it's automatically not put it. So tomorrow's Mara is going to ask him, what do you mean? How did it go away? How did the Kedusha just go away? The Kedusha just can't go away for nothing. That's going to be the discussion of tomorrow's tomorrow. We'll pick it up from here tomorrow. It's from Amalera Havnur. Go ahead.